Hey guys, NJ Gamer back again with another FIFA 20 video or foot news video, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, ho hope you are going to enjoy this episode. Uh, if you do, make sure you smash the like for me and subscribe if you're new. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video, guys. Okay, so guys, um, I'm not even going to say his name. Gab, Gab, Min, Gab, Gib, I don't know. Um, this guy, anyway, um, we're doing today uh, for this video, uh, just discussing the objectives and how you might be able to uh, get these done. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about the scoring 12 goals with 80 physical. Now, uh, I'm going to switch over and you can see that the team that I use to actually do this. Okay guys, so this is the team that I used to get 12 goals really quickly with like uh, over 80 physical players. So Rabiot is like over 80, um, Dangolan over 80, uh, Allen over 80, Martinez 86 there. Um, I actually didn't have Gomez in there. I took him out and I put uh, Bilotti in and he's got the 82 physical and then you've got Rebic 81 so any of these that you score with will will count as the 12 um, as the 12 goals so that is pretty much what I did to get the 12 goals really fast um, now there could be some Premier League players uh, I know of one uh, which I'll show you just now so yeah this was uh, just like my Prem team that I was using uh, a lot of these are actually first owned ones because I was trying to do that first owned objective so um, but yeah Joshua King is the one right there that I was talking about um, 84 physical so he's the one but for me I had more Italian players that was like over the 80 mark so I thought you know it was a lot more faster for me than rather just trying to keep passing it to Joshua King um, there's probably other um, Premier League strikers that we can use so I'll go into that now and have a look for you okay guys so Hala is one uh, but his pace is 72 but he's got that 82 physical so if you wanted to use him that's a choice there but it depends on your game style like I tend to use the more quicker strikers but you know he's 83 rated he's got the 72 pace um, well 76 sprint speed 68 acceleration so um, not the best but he you know he's got that physical attribute that you need to do it okay guys so if you have the normal Harry Kane as well obviously uh, he's 83 physical not got much pace but uh, yeah he's he's got that too so you could use him okay so another one that you could use is Joe Linton a lot more better pace there you got um, 78 pace and you got 81 physical so you could use him um, yeah I could have probably gone and bought some of these players but I prefer the pace uh, I prefer just having a, the whole midfield and the whole strike is just all 80 and then it didn't matter it didn't affect my game I could just score with anyone I liked instead of trying to pass it to a certain individual um, but it's up to you whatever you want to do okay so there's uh, there's Wesley 77 pace and 88 physical I think he's got an inform uh, knocking around right now as well so you can pick that up for quite cheap as well so he's probably a decent player that you could use too and uh, there's even Troy Deeney that you can use it's an absolute terrible pace but he's got an 85 physical but uh, yeah I think I think you get a gist I think you get the idea there's a few strikers there for you that you can maybe go after in the prem that have that 85 physical or 88 eight, above 80 physical um, but yeah let's get back into the other objectives now okay so we'll go with a uh, European tour then so score with a league uh, a Bundesliga and a Premier League player in three squad battles now 
I was kind of dumb when I first read this and I thought okay you have to go win a match with a league one team in squad battles win a match with a Bundesliga team in squad battles win a, you know just a normal Premier League team uh, no you have to have three of these league cards so a French league card a, a German league card and a Premier League card um, I'll, I'll just show you how I've done it so I'll show you the team okay so this is basically how I did the squad battles one um, you got Memphis as your league one player there as your striker uh, Kingsley Coleman I went with because he's French uh, and yeah <laughs> so we put him in at cam and then we've got Martial there uh, as well for your Premier League player so if any three of these cards obviously score well you need to get every, every you know, one of each of these to score uh, and then you do it in obviously three ga games and you can actually just do it on semi-pro you don't have to do it on professional world class or legendary or ultimate um, you know you can just go score your three goals it's a lot easier on, on a, like a semi-pro or a professional especially if you go with that first that first block uh, because usually the chemistry of that team is absolutely terrible usually the rating of that team as well is absolutely terrible so but obviously you've got to do three matches so you start there and then you go around and um, yeah just get a goal of each of these and you're done with that one um, yeah it was a little bit of a uh, it's a little bit of a pain on the higher difficulties um, if you're going to get like, the better teams in squad battles so I would recommend just doing it you know three games on the lower difficulty and, and then you're just done you just kind of blast through it it can be kind of boring like, once you get the three goals like straight away in the first few minutes but um, yeah you can pretty much almost just you know relax and put the controller down or like just yeah you don't really have to do a lot um, on semi pro if that's the, the kind of uh, way that you want to go about it but yeah that's that's that one okay guys so score eight goals in rivals is pretty simple um i did this one pretty quickly yeah you just you know you just play rivals and score score goals i mean even if you play the worst and you just get one goal per game or two goals per game like you can build this up quite quite fast and you know even if you just move down the league and you just smash someone like 4-0 um yeah it's it's pretty simple that one i haven't actually used him yet on loan so i'm i'm gonna actually try and do that when i get back to uh the other objectives but yeah um what else is there so score using an ivory coast player now this one okay i'll go off and i'll show you a couple of players for this all right so is wilfred zaha is uh is the one we want um i got him obviously pretty expensive there as you can see because i got him like in the first week of the game so um yeah <laughs> but yeah he's got the pace he's got everything uh, that you need and uh, yeah I just played him like um, cam but you can put him in the striker position as well and he'll probably rack up the goals a little bit more uh, for you but it's yeah it is actually one goal per win that you have to do so yeah it is you know you do have to keep playing and yeah so another one uh we'll, we'll go again and i'll show you another one so yeah you can use nicolas pepe not having a good uh, season at arsenal i don't think um but uh yeah you can use him i think he's got a cup I mean, he might have a special card or two as well so yeah you can use him uh very pacey you know you can put him as a right forward um or like the right striker like the formation that i use um and and yeah um 81 shot 91 pace it'll get you a few goals 
and you might be able to put Pepe on one side and uh, Zaha on the other side that might actually increase your chances of uh, of getting that per game as well um, I just actually just used the Zaha card um, but you know I managed to do it uh, fairly quickly and you know it worked out for me quite well but to double your chances you probably want two players in there and those are definitely the two players you want Pepe and Zaha for Premier League and that will actually uh, you know if you're looking to do the other objective which I'm just going to go back into now and explain uh, that will probably speed it up a little bit more ok guys so here we are back again and as you can see there's been a change I have now got every single uh, thing unlocks every every objective 5 out of 5 there for the assists log through passes now this one uh, definitely the trickiest of the lot uh, right up there with um, the, the past objectives where you had to get volleys and stuff like that but this one um, you just gotta go and be persistent with it and just change your game style and just basically just keep chipping it in keep chipping it and um, and you'll get there um, I don't know like whether you should I think the one tip I would say is maybe let the opposition come onto you tackle them and then try and chip the ball in behind because there'll be all that space then in behind them um, but then you don't want like too much space because if you have too many touches of the ball uh, and then get the goal uh, I don't know if it does it I managed to actually do it where I had a good maybe two maybe three at a push touches I'm not quite sure maybe, maybe one or two touches um, and it actually counted so you don't actually have to chip it and then hit it first time that is the one thing I'll say you don't have to do that you can have a couple of touches um, and then do it uh, so yeah basically um, let them come at you a tiny bit and then really sharpen the tackles get on the counter attack ch um, wait for the run it's all about the timing um, probably I, I say best with my formation because that's what I'm comfortable with but there are two if you have the two strikers just running through um, well I mean sometimes only one of them makes the run because sometimes you're the other striker with the ball sometimes you're the cam with the ball sometimes you're a midfielder with the ball so it all depends like how it works out in a game but um, there will usually be one striker that will make that run for you uh, just in behind and then it's all about the timing to try and get it before he gets offside and as well like it, it can take a little bit of time because you can get you know the goalkeeper rushing out uh, I mean so many times I must have hit the post about three four or five times uh, and screaming at the TV like oh my god that, that would have been it that would have been the one um, but yeah like that's it now five out of five um, that's kind of all the tips I can really give you I guess pacey strikers is you want some sort of a pace but it's all about the timing of, of that ball um, yeah I mean you want a little bit of pace because you don't want that defender kind of getting back on you um, but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video guys if that really helped you then smash the like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one